Hey guys, welcome back. Today I thought I'd show you guys how I do my fallow deer great one grind. I haven't actually got one yet, but I thought I'd just show you guys. Let's get into it. So I start out with this lake in the top right corner. This is the best lake for fallow deer grinding. As you'll see in a minute, they're everywhere. But first, I need to reset the time, and I normally go to around 11 o'clock. Fallow deer drink time is from 10 to 13, so I normally set it to 11, so they have an hour to get to their zones in time. And these guys are just everywhere. Here we go. There's a shooter. There's another one. I don't shoot small level 2s, and I shoot the big level 3s and 4s. I don't shoot small level 3s either. And here we go. Here's three max weights that I'll definitely take out. Go left to right. There's one. There's two. And that third's being difficult. He'll definitely go down though. It'll just take him a sec. There we go. If you guys noticed, I do use the 300 just to save time because if you get any lung shot, it'll instantly drop them. However, with the 308, they will take a little while to go down, even with a lung shot. I sacrifice a little bit of money and the metal, but that's all right. It's all about just getting them down quickly. And as I said, these guys are everywhere. Just on the way over, we have another one that's a shooter. Just a medium-sized level 3. That'll definitely take him down. And we have another one. that guy go down as well so I think that's six or five already and we have more across the lake oh that's a pie bolt I'm at about 2,000 kills but I've only shot one pie bolt maybe two just gonna wait for him to maybe give me a broadside shot oh actually he's not even gonna make gold so I might just take him out might try get a good shot no, that won't be. I'm just gonna bring out the 300 and get him down. Don't wanna have the added tracking time. And he'll die pretty quickly. Here's our first fellow from before. And he's a nice little chocolate fur type at 181. And here's our second one, would have been a nice gold. And just on the way over to get the others. There's even more spawning in. This lake is absolutely incredible. They're just absolutely everywhere and they just keep respawning. That guy's technically a potential diamond, but I didn't get good shots. He wouldn't make it anyway. He's about a 230, 240. So I'm just gonna take him down. He'll die eventually. And yeah, he did. Just gotta remember to pick that guy up later. You end up shooting so many of them that you can potentially forget that you've even killed them. And that can be bad because then you don't get your respawns back. And here's the other one we shot from before. Would have been a silver at 149. And here's another one. Just another silver at 182. Make sure there's no others and we'll go grab this other guy. And across the river there's even more that have come back. Just some does though. And here's the last one from the group from the other side. And we've already got some more coming back. There's our pie bold. We got some more over there. Try to take him out real quick. And that's another perfect shot. So we'll go grab the big one from before. And literally all it took was for me to teleport over. And we've got even more running past. And there he goes. There is so many of these fallow deer on this lake, it's ridiculous. Right in the top right hand corner of the map. And we'll come pick this guy up and then the other one from before. And the other one should just be down here a little bit. And here he is. Would have been a gold at 237, but obviously didn't get very good shots on him. And here is our piebald. The piebalds look really good, man. If I could get a big one, I'd be very happy, but... I've only gotten small ones so far, but nonetheless, might tax him and chuck him in the lodge. 
I only think I've got one or two, maybe three pie bolts in this whole grind. And there's been 2,000 kills, so I feel like I should have seen more than I have. I also haven't seen a single other rare, like no albino, no melanistic. But hey, if the great one's around the corner, I'm not complaining. And yet again, before I can even claim all the others, there's another one. And there he goes. No other bucks in there, but we'll pick this guy up and then go get him. And by that point, probably more will even show up. That's how it seems to be going. And here should be the final one. Would have been a gold at 220. But from here, I moved down to the river. I'm just going to go check the codex and see how many we got just from this lake. Here it is. So we got from the 14th. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 of them in like 5 minutes at this one lake. That's pretty pretty good. So after the good lake, I'm down here on the river and I check those two zones. I run out to my tripod from the tent and there's normally two full herds, one on my left and one on my right. But sometimes they don't show up and I really don't know why. And we've got one, two shooters over there, so I'll shoot this guy first, so they're just alerted. That wasn't a good shot, but he'll still die. And these guys are going to go alert, and I'll take them down. And both of them, splat. And our other ones died pretty quick too. That's the real benefit of using the 300. Even if you get a bad shot, they die really quickly. And here's our first little chocolate one. And the second's not far away. And here he is. Would have been a gold at 182. Sorry, silver. Then I just fast travel back and go grab the other one. And here's our final one. And next, I move down the river to these zones. From here, I just check this little zone down here. And the other one on the other side of the river. Looks like one shooter on the other side and a couple on this side. So I jump off on the tripod and take these two out with the 300. Yep. Don't want to shoot that guy in the back. That's just a small little two or that one. Just these two in the front. There's one. There's two. And here on the way over, I jump up on this tripod and take a shot on one on the other side of the river. There he is. There's the target. And there he goes. And here are two from before. There's one. There's two. And then I just fast travel to the other side, to the other side of the river, and get the other one. And here he is. Next I move on and fast travel to this outpost and run down to the tripod and take him out from the other side of the river. So here I am. I just jump up on my tripod. Look to the other side. There's a solid herd over there every time. And I'll just try to take them out. So I run down from the outpost down to the tripod. And here they are. That should be one. That should be two. Nice. And I have a collection tent on the other side, so it's quicker to pick them up. And here these guys are. Two pretty small ones. And next, I move over to this zone over here. I've got a tent and a tripod. And there's normally, it's normally pretty consistent. I normally have a few over there. And here you are, just run up to the tripod. And there's a solid one. Up to 247, I reckon he'll score like right on 240. And we've got another nice one behind him. There he goes. And there he goes. Two nice shots. Two dead fellow. And here's number one. Scored 239. Definitely not a bad one. And the other's just up here. Didn't actually check his score, just checked that he was max weight. Max weight, I'm pretty sure, those are the ones you always want to shoot because they have the chance of respawning is a great one. Don't actually know if all of them can, but 82 to 100, that's the max weight, they definitely can. Next, I move on down to this little spot, little cove, I'd call it. This zone is very good. 
always consistently has a lot of deer in it. As you can see there, there is a lot of them. There's definitely one to shoot. I could see a second and I think, yep, there's a third in there as well. There's one, there's two, there's three. Oh, I didn't get that second one, but he's definitely gonna go down in a second anyway. So we'll go pick those three out. And here's number one. Nice little, would have been silver. And the other two, dead line next to each other. There's the first, and there's the second. And next, I move on down to this this tent, and I check the zones nearby. So when I'm here, I check this zone over there mainly, and I've got a tripod for it as well. I also check on the other side of the river because sometimes there's some shootable things like that one. I am going to ignore him for now though, just for the sake of time, and go shoot the guys in this zone over here. As you can see, the tripod just over there. And up we get, and we've got two shooters. Definitely take those two out. One, two, two dead fella. And here's the white one, 184, and here's the chocolate, 153. So next, I move all the way down here, and I normally have a big herd of them down to the left. And this time is no exception. We have a nice max weight one down there and a couple others that I could definitely take out. There's another max weight, so definitely there's four of them I could take out. I'm not going to hit that many shots though. Two so far. Nah, just the two. Messed up the shots on the other one. Tell you what, if I could actually hit my shots, I'd have a lot more dead fallow. Tend to miss a lot of them. And here we go. First one's a 143. And the second, 188. Next I move on to this boomerang shorter shaped lake. And I normally get one herd and a couple solos at this zone. And here we go. Here's the herd of them. This sometimes is solo, but not today. That should be a good shot. Not quite. He'll go down pretty soon nonetheless. And that took him down. And just on the way over, right where the tent is, this other fellow has spawned in because we got out of render distance. But we still have our other two. Here's the first one. And he is a bronze, and the second's just up the hill. And here he is, just a bronze at 164. And I'll just fast travel to the other side and grab the other one. And here he is, nice little chocolate. And next, the final lake I go to, the starter lake of Te Awara. I have two very good zones here. And unfortunately, one of them is leaving because I'm at the end of their drink time, but I'll try to get one of them and not alert the others. Did get one, and there should be another two over here. That one's not bad, up to 247. He'll score 240s. And that'll take him out, and that'll take him out. Perfect. And I have a collection tent over this side of the river, and I also shoot some of these on my way over to claim those. And there, the, there goes that guy. Here's our two from before. 237, right where I expected, and a 200. And the third should just be over here. And here he is, bronze at 139. And here he is, just a bronze at 139. So I'm gonna chuck in a clip of a diamond. Unfortunately, we didn't get one on this run, but here's one from earlier. There we go, there's a five. Up to 263, I'm pretty confident this guy would just barely make it. That should have been a good shot, he's definitely going down. I reckon this guy will score like 254 or something. Oh, definitely couldn't get that other guy though. 
but we'll pick him up. Here he is, definitely going to make diamond, and yes, 253. There we go. I'm at about 35 diamonds at like 2,000 kills. No super rares. Obviously, no great one yet, but we'll try to get him one soon. I've been recording for 30 minutes. Let's see how many we've killed. Oh, I can't scroll down. Well, I definitely have at least one. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. So I definitely have at least 20. I've been recording for 30 minutes. I've definitely killed about 35, I'd say, in 30 minutes. So about a kill a minute. This grind's going pretty well, I'd say. But unfortunately, no great one yet. But try to get him soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you in another one again soon. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe. See you next time.